I was asked for the pH of 41.5 grams of lactic acid dissolved to make 500 milliliters of solution. Now the question that this student gave me gave the molar mass of lactic acid, which is 90.079, but if they didn't give that to you, you could calculate it with the formula of lactic acid, and then you just add up the molar masses of the atoms that make it up. And you also have to be given the acid dissociation constant Ka, which is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 4 here. Okay, so the way that you deal with a weak acid and trying to find its pH is generally with equilibrium. The Ka represents the equilibrium of that acid with H plus in solution and its conjugate base. Now, you may have been introduced to something called an ice table where you put initial concentrations here, the changes and the equilibrium concentrations here. We're about to do that, but you need concentration in moles per liter to do that. Unfortunately, we don't have that here, but we can calculate it. I need the number of moles of lactic acid here. That's going to be mass divided by molar mass. 41.5 grams divided by the molar mass, which again, I was given in this question. If you weren't, you could calculate it on your own. 41.5 divided by 90.079 is 0 0.460707 moles. And then you need concentration. The concentration is moles divided by volume. 0 0.460707 moles divided by volume in liters. This is 0 0.5 liters. So I'm just going to bring out the calculator again, divide by 0.5. I get an initial concentration of 0.9214 moles per liter. That goes in the I initial concentration of the weak acid, 0.9214. I'm going to assume that I have no H plus or conjugate base to start with because we're not dissolving any of those directly into solution. Then the acid dissociates some to give you H plus in its conjugate base. So your equilibrium concentrations are 0 0.9214 minus x for the remaining acid, x for the amount of H plus that was formed, and x for the amount of conjugate base that was formed. Now that equilibrium has this equilibrium constant, Ka equals products over reactants, if you recall how to create KEQs. So 1.38 times 10 to the negative 4 equals products x and x over reactants 0 0.9214 minus x. Solving for x here will get you the concentration of H+, plus, which then you can get pH from. Now, the official way to solve this explicitly is with the quadratic formula. You have to multiply this 0.9214 minus x on the other side, multiply it out, move everything to one side of the equation, and use negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But maybe there's a better way. If the concentration you were given, 0.9214, divided by k, is more than 100, most teachers will let you cross out this minus x here. Now, just to be clear, that is going to happen here. My concentration divided by 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 4 gives me 6,600. That's way more than 100, which means that the amount of HA disappearing is, you know, hardly anything compared to the initial concentration. It's like when a millionaire drops a dollar, you're still about a millionaire. And so you don't have to be, you don't have to be pedantic about keeping the minus x here. That makes this equation much easier to solve. It means you can simply undo this dividing by 0.9214 by multiplying it on the other side. 1.38 times 10 to the negative 4 times 
0 0.9214 equals, the top here is still x squared. All right, I'm going to do that on the calculator, 0 0.9214 times 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 4. I got 0 0.1230, so then a 127153. To actually solve for x, I'm going to square root both sides. Square root and square cancel each other out. Here's my square root button, square root of the previous answer. I get 0 0.011276. Now, most importantly, x is the concentration of H plus at equilibrium. So to answer the question about what's the pH of this solution, you take the negative log of that H plus concentration. For us, that's the negative log of 0 0.011276. Here on the calculator, I can just do negative, then there's a log button of the answer. I get 1.95. Nice. So, it's pretty acidic to be honest, uh, but I guess we're dissolving quite a bit of lactic acid in there. Okay. Lastly, I want to point out significant figures. This is three significant figures. Officially, the, this number, as it was written for me, was one significant figure, just 500. I'm going to assume that there was a decimal there. All of a sudden, now that I put the decimal there, it's three significant figures. This was three significant figures, and this was a whole bunch. So three significant figures is great for pH. I'm going to... I'm going to count this as three significant figures myself. I know there's complicated rules for logs and how the number of significant figures plays a role in that. Honestly, I just like reporting pH to two decimal places because that's what pH meters do in labs. Anyways, pH is 1.95, but how did you do it? Well, you converted grams and milliliters into a concentration by converting grams to moles, then moles to moles per liter. Then you had to do an ice table and a Ka calculation with an assumption in order to find X, the equilibrium concentration of H+. That's what you take the negative log of to get pH. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.